Jennifer Suk Fong Lee was born and raised on Vancouver's east side, and now she lives with her son in North Burnaby. Her books have been nominated for national and international awards. In Finding Home, Jennifer explores the history of human migration, the current issues facing immigrants and refugees today, and the stories of people who have moved across the globe looking for safety, security, and happiness. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Jen Suk Fong Lee, and I am the author of the brand new book, it was just published, uh, Finding Home, The Journey of Immigrants and Refugees. I have a copy of it right here. It's yellow, just like my sweater. Um, I live in Vancouver with my son and my dog, who is right behind me, just right there. That's Rosie. Um, and Vancouver is on the unceded and traditional territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. Um, and because I wrote a book about migration and moving, I just think it's really appropriate and and uh, responsible for me to acknowledge that I'm a settler here on these lands and that I'm really grateful to be living and working and writing here and talking to you. Um, so I thought I would talk a little bit today about why I wrote Finding Home and the sorts of things that I talk about in the book. So um, immigrants and refugees and asylum seekers are often in the news because of war or politics or economics. But sometimes I think the information we hear can be really confusing. Um, often we don't hear the background or the facts or the history, all of these things that contribute to the reasons people migrate or move to different countries. And yet I think we all know someone, maybe it's a neighbor or a relative or maybe even yourself, who has moved to a different country to look for a better job or a better school or a safer life. I believe it's our responsibility as engaged and kind-hearted citizens to try to understand everyone better, which is why I wrote Finding Home. It all starts um, with kids and helping them understand the world and the people who live in it. It's for you. It's for kids. Um, migration and the reasons people move, it's pretty complicated. It's a complicated topic. And I thought it would be a really good idea to break it down into parts that children could understand and that would also put a human face on the issue of immigration and also on the issue of people who are fleeing conflict or persecution in search of a safe home for their families. You'll find that I interviewed many refugees and immigrants. When you're reading through it, you'll see lots of interviews with different kinds of people. Um, and I interviewed some kids and their families. Um, and one of my very favorite interviews was with a, uh, two kids, two little boys, um, who are brothers, and their names are Mohammed and Khalil. And they left um, war-torn Syria, and they went to a refugee camp in Jordan, where they lived for two years. Um, and eventually they settled in Vancouver, where I live. Um, and they were really fun, a lot of fun. I got to meet them in person. And uh, when I asked them what they both wanted to be when they grew up, uh, Khalil stood on his chair and shouted he wanted to grow up to be just like John Cena, <laughs> which made me laugh. He's a, he's a very fun time. Um, everyone I interviewed for Finding Home had different reasons for moving, and they all have different kinds of families and different kinds of stories. Um, for example, Omar, uh, he left Somalia and went to Kenya before finally settling in Edmonton. And he traveled uh, with his wife and his six kids, his six kids. Um, and he was very happy to settle in Canada because he felt it was the best possible place for his children um, to get any kind of education they wanted and to become anything they wanted. And he really, really wanted me to, to write about how he really felt the possibilities were endless for his children and how much he valued that, which is really nice. Um, all of the people I interviewed shared the same motivation, even though they all had different stories. And their motivation was really to leave their home country so that their lives could be happier and safer. I write about some complicated issues that are sort of part of immigration and refugees. I write about the history of migration, um, sort of how and when and why people started moving around the world. I write about colonization, which is when one country, you know, takes over another and starts to take uh, away people and resources. I write about racism and I write about um, the uh, difficult conditions in refugee camps around the world. I try to write in ways that are approachable for children who may come to this book with lots of questions, but also for their parents or caregivers or teachers who want to answer those questions as best they can. 
I really believe that the best way to talk about challenging topics with kids, and this is how I talk to my own son, is to be really honest and to make sure kids understand the facts so that they can begin to form their own opinions. It's really important for people to think independently and to form their own opinions, and it's especially important for kids to be able to come up with their own ideas and to be able to express them. In Finding Home, I also write about how immigration and diverse communities add a lot of joy to people's lives. Where I live in Vancouver, I'm very lucky. We have all kinds of cultural festivals, everything from Lunar New Year to Diwali, and even a festival that celebrates people of mixed race called Hapa Palooza. Diversity really enriches cities, and we have the opportunity to try different foods, experience different holidays, and share our cultures with each other, which is never ever boring. It's always something that I'm interested in, and it's always fun. At the end of the day, I think people move around the world to find opportunity, safety, and happiness, which is all any of us can hope for. As kids read through Finding Home, you know, with their parents or with their teachers, my hope is that they see the families behind the numbers and news stories and understand that immigrants and refugees are not that different from you or me or anyone else. We all want safe, happy, and healthy homes, and that's what I think everybody has in common. Thank you, guys. Why not upload your writing, your videos, and your ideas to the Creativity Club on the Telling Tales website? Thank you for joining us. See you again.